Uh, my beautiful Virgos, apologies for the big absence. Uh, as you all probably know, I've had some uh, health issues going on and stuff like that. They're still going on, but we are getting better. <laughs> so I'm going to delve stra straight in. If you are on my Patreon site, do not worry. Patreons are going to be uploaded tomorrow. If you're not on there, check it out in the description box below. So my Virgos, what affirmation have we got for Virgos for this coming week? Have. you are amazing that is your affirmation for this week virgo you are amazing so let's get your numerology you need to tell yourself that you're amazing you need to remind yourself every day that you are amazing oh and you could be looking at numerology this week we're starting with a 22 so you may be being stuck by the twos which is so weird i don't have virgo uh, my daughter's a Virgo, but I have been stalked every single day with 22, 22. It's your intuition. So this week, your intuition is being turned up. And you are amazing. And if you trust that intuition, well, so look out for them twos. Your intuition may be tested this week. You may find that you are really heart and sensory. We've got memories of love. So there may be communication from the other side, dreams, you know, that type of thing. They may be, intuitively, you may be sat there thinking about somebody from the past and boom, they ring you, they message you, you know, that type of thing. It is people from the past or people we've let go of in the past. Um, it can also be issues regarding children and childhood. But I kind of feel like it's more an intuitive energy. Um, like you're thinking about somebody and then boom, you bump into them or they ring you or they send you a message on social media or a text or a whatsapp or whatever i said blue i kind of feel like that is coming in oh this energy in the past may have put you in sat in a bit of a mental conflict because we've got mental conflict which is another number two and then we've got a fab which is about changes we've got conflict and defeat so it kind of Maybe in the past it could have been a love interest or something like that and you thought, oh, they, you know, this is really nice and then they just ghost you or, uh, you know. I kind of feel like you're going to find out a reason. There's going to be some kind of reason in this week, Virgo. Trust your intuition because if someone's going to blag you, you're going to know it. So as soon as you see that red flag, it's like, off you go. I nearly said something else then, but YouTube will uh, sense me. So coming out of that, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. We've got Prosperity Begins. Uh... The, it, it's your energy it's earthly energy capricorn taurus virgo it's a number one it's about sowing a seed for something going further uh something growing on your tree of life you know a new branch on your tree of life so it could be a financial um energy or it could be a partnership it's something about your safety your security so and at the end of the day if it is about relationships you've got to put that first anyway how is it going to affect my life i want to feel safe and secure within my relationships We've also got fertility. So, <laughs> Virgo, if you don't want new babies, this is not going to be for everybody, but with the Ace of Pentacles and the fertility there, there's a, that's a strong fertility energy. But it's also a good energy for rebirth because that fertile energy, she's manifesting from the heart. She becomes the energy that she is, you know. It's the Empress. It's Taurus energy. We're in Taurus right now. So I feel like your intuition is kind of telling you that you are the queen or king of manifestation right now. So you've got to keep your thoughts leveled and try not to go back into this energy here. Because you are manifesting from a frequency of thought. That will be why I would go into intuition. So it could be the fact that you actually manifest someone coming back. Be careful what you wish for, that's what I'll say. <laughs> so, let's get some clarification on all the six of cups. So, being in the present moment with an attitude of gratitude is where your intuition is going to shine from. Not looking back towards the past, not looking back, uh, not too much to the future. I feel like some of my Virgos, there could be apologies coming as well. We've got karma balance and justice. It is a Libra energy, but in, there we are in that eight year. We're in a karmic year. You know, this year is all about restoring balance and it is justice. You know, we get what we deserve. Um, it's that type of energy. They're telling you not to worry about that. 
they could be good news coming within legal forms or anything with your name on certificates awards that type of energy as well look at this see using your intuition and especially going by your numerology looking at the numbers around you the signs and synchronicities it's like you you are free now you are free to be open to new opportunities as long as you take that leap of faith you know you don't go back into that old way of thinking into that fear vibration because you the rest of the cards are absolutely amazing they're absolutely amazing there's just this like bit of a test so you're going to go back into an old way of thinking an old paradigm of thinking you can't avoid it anymore we've got avoidance and a stalemate maybe there has been someone trying to ring you or message you or whatever my advice to that would be don't try and avoid it anymore stand stand there head held up take it on the chin see what they've got to say bye do, do you know what i mean you can't avoid what needs to be sorted on top of the S Pentacles and the Fertility, you're going to be harvesting in autumn. So the seeds that you're sowing now, the autumn months are going to be very significant for you, Virgo. I love this reading. Yeah, some of you are feeling lonely at the moment, either in separation or a longing for something. And that is where the energy needs to be, like, kind of controlled with the thoughts because you're manifesting with the thoughts. So we don't want to manifest, I'm going to be lonely forever or so-and-so is never going to speak to me again or, you know, that type of energy. Because whatever you are still sowing now, you're definitely harvesting in autumn. But I feel like this week is going to be, oh, my God, I was just thinking of that person. Oh, my God, I was just thinking of that. It's a, a lot of them energies, you know, like, you think it, it's there. I feel like this week, you're going to be quite amazed with yourself. But remember, the, your affirmation was, you are amazing. So look out for them sounds and synchronicities, Virgo.